Fruit flies. What are they? How do they get in your apartment? These are some of life's great mysteries. Uh, I don't know the answer, but what I do know is how to build a killer fruit fly trap. Uh, now you may be saying to yourself, I already know how to build a fruit fly trap. Well, probably this video is not for you. However, if you don't, I'm a woman of many talents, but the most important of them is that I can build a killer fruit fly trap. And you can make it out of things that are right around your house, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so to do this, all, these are all the items you're going to need. A mason jar. Now, it doesn't have to be big like this. This is just, this is dramatically big. In fact, I would like it to be a little bit smaller. It doesn't matter, though. Any mason jar will work. You will need a sheet of paper, a scissors, a piece of fruit, some vinegar. Again, your vinegar does not have to be this large. It's just for the drama. And you will also need tape, which I forgot to put out before I started showing items. Okay. First thing you want to do is take a bite of the fruit, because it's good. Um, then, put the fruit in the mason jar. I actually have a little bit too much fruit in here. Let me just... Okay. You don't want it all the way to the top. Halfway will do. And then, you take your vinegar, and you want to fill the mason jar just to the point so there's a little bit of fruit just sticking out, right? Okay, this is your bait. Look at this. Can you see this fucker? He's already flying into the jar. They're so stupid. You know, they're small, they're hard to catch, but one thing we have on fruit flies is that they're really, really fucking dumb, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a funnel with your piece of paper, okay? So just, wait, how do I show this? From the other side, okay, a funnel, right? And then you wanna tape it. Okay, so I have taped my funnel, right? Now at this stage, you're gonna wanna make, you take your jar and make sure that the funnel doesn't touch the fruit, okay? It's just, you wanna get it so it's above the fruit. Okay, you can see, so this is the crease right here. Oh, the glare is making it kind of hard to see, but I've taped all along the crease, so it's a seal. And now at the top, I'm gonna snip just a little tiny hole. Now the idea is you want the hole to be big enough for a fruit fly to get through, but not much bigger than that. Like bigger than a fruit fly, smaller than a house fly. So like, think like a little bigger than a pencil tip. Okay, see? So I've cut just a little hole right there. Great. Now, put it into the jar and you tape all along the edge here to create a seal. So the only way to get into the jar is through the little hole. Okay, so I've taped all the way around. It's a tight seal and then I like, to snip off the extra paper, but that's not, it's not really important for the functionality of the trap. It's just, I like it better. And then you're done. Then you just wait and these dumb motherfuckers are going to fly in here and they're, they're going to go down through the hole and then they're going to be like, oh, I'm fruit. And then they can't find their way back out and that's it. And then they get stuck in there and you just wait and that's it. That's it. You're done. That's the whole trap. That's it, that's the video. It's a trap, it's a fruit fly trap. Okay, I left it out overnight and look at these dumb bastards. They get caught in there. Also, um, I don't know of a good way to kill them in there, so this is a very humane trap because the way that you get them out of the jar is you just take it outside and take the funnel off and then they fly off and they're free to roam any dumpster in the city, just not your kitchen.